everyone, welcome back to Team Frostbite's reaction for Ruby Volume 7, Episode oh, 6. We are oh, halfway, oh. halfway through the season, the volume, season. The, 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 <laughs> Living the season. on a prayer. We're halfway Perfect. there and that's that's a Christmas miracle. If I, if I, if I, ever, yeah. if I, if I can't talk I today, if ever I've seen one. Yes. In the last episode, uh, things went from Stuff good happens. to eh to bad <laughs> in like no time flat. Uh, we have, and you can see that video on my channel. Yes, you can see that mm -hmm. over on Fat Man's channel. Remember, every odd episode goes to Fat Man. Every even one goes to me. So subscribe to both of us to make sure that you're getting all of our reactions simultaneously. And every um, Easter yeah. special will be on my channel, if we yes. ever have one. A Ruby <laughs> Easter special. We've, and mine yes. may be coming soon. So just it's, keep in, an it's in the contract. Yes. And also on on Fat Man's channel last week, you'll find out how he wants to kill boomers. You'll see. I, I mean, I mean, you can yeah. watch the Doctor Stone reactions for that. Yeah, you can just watch the Doctor Stone reaction. <laughs> talking about yeah. Freya, talking about Freya, but go ahead. Oh yeah, she's she's the the it, it's it's literally just the trolley problem, you know. Do you pull the switch to save more lives, or do you keep your hands clean, and save less lives? I pull the switch and I do multi-track drifting. Yes. yes. Deja vu. <laughs> Excellent. That's the, that's the only correct choice. <laughs> use then you kill then, then you kill the winter maiden and then use her power to attack the citizens. Yes. <laughs> um, but yes, last week we got introduced to Robin Hill, who is the other political candidate running against Jacques. Uh, Jacques decides to instigate a class war. Um, and uh, I have to cut out the the f word there because I completely forgot about cursing. Also, my face looks really washed out. Let me try. Is it finally transparent? No. My uh, face, like, yeah. like the lighting in this room is just god off. You just cut you, to one the... day, just black light and just smile. There you go. That's <laughs> all you need. You, you just <laughs> cut to to Raymond's feed, yeah, and he's green screened his face out, and it's just his hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've done that before. One time, I accidentally inverted the green screen, so my face was Weird. was like see through, and the and like I was just this like floating face floating like black circle on a on a green background the, um, and that was that one time where fat man shaved and i covered up his uh face the entire time with, with a sensor bar because it was so unnerving to everyone to see. yeah i didn't know you were gonna like do that the whole time i Dude, thought it was just gonna be like a minute and then like matched with my rendering that took like I don't know why, but I like, ended up making it so much longer to render. I'm sure it did. So make sure you check out their channels for that throwback. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go find out which episode that was. Watch all of our videos until you find this it. This episode is just plug, 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 plug. plug. I'm, I'm just playing with my hat until you guys are finished. Yes. Um, uh, so I think we're all good to go on this episode. Everyone loaded up and ready to, yep. to kick it. Yep. Yep. Yes, all right. Sir. Three, two, one, go. All righty. Oh, <laughs> we, we skipped the riot? Oh, come on! Oh my god, we totally did! <laughs> they, they, they can't, so be, they can't be bothered to animate that. Yeah, we don't have that much. Were your supporters. I don't condone rioting. Especially... I don't condone rioting. I, I only condone attacking military vehicles. I condone. I condone backing down so at, at the slightest hint of a threat <laughs> or opposition. Shout out to Ivy that Brown. <laughs> Ivy Brown, third party candidate. 2020. <laughs> Ivy Brown. The sandwich room. The sandwich room. Ugh. Oof. Ah. Oh, ah! yeah, mini night. Oh, that's cute. cute. Got her. <laughs> what are you fighting, Minetta? What the heck? All right, that. Hey, she can use her semblance now. So if they ever have to fight Minetta, he's fine. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> your recovery's getting faster. Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Never recovered at 100%. <laughs> we'll get back to that. I, I used the semblance oh, to wait, restore the cool. semblance. She went around it. Whoa. Intangibility. I don't normally think it through that much. You guys. 
Stop, <laughs> you guys no, are evolving? Back to that. Ignore it. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you what guys that? are evolving. You're really giving this <laughs> what a line. So do you think it creates like two illusionary ones or she literally splits into three? Uh, I suppose so. I, I mean, she's, I think she just becomes incorporeal. It could be a chance to work with Robin and get Mantle on your side. Right. You have to do something about Mantle. If you could get Robin to trust you, I bet it ain't. Perhaps. But it will only work if she's mission assignments. You could say that. <laughs> General and I want you to take the rest of the day. <laughs> Getting to the point. He was trying to change the subject. A night off? Ordering it. After tonight's election, we'll be waking up. Need you rested and ready for whatever that may bring. That's a fair point. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be ready Why? for, it's you know, whatever comes next. on a council. But as votes come in, it looks more and more certain that Robin Hill will... Oh, There's God. No father could have it's her that. year, guys. Her it's her turn. <laughs> <laughs> I, also, I realize something about Robin Hill. She like is all the positives of, of Trump well, and Hillary, hours, and though. Jock is all the negatives of just okay. Trump. So obviously it's a parody on Robin Hood, right? But are they really? No, Jacques also kills his political opponents. Are they really that obvious to put Robin Hill as in Robin Hillary? Hey. Oh, it's a Bumblebee moment. We know what's going on. They're talking stuff. Just because Ironwood dislikes Robin doesn't mean we all. Both of them seem to be trying their best to help Atlas. As to who's doing a better job. Party. Invite's still open if you want in. Penny's gonna be working security. Jeez, Weiss. <laughs> no. You gotta do it like this. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> what? I. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was saying, like, they're not Weiss so on the nose that it's meant to be Robin right Hill as in Hillary. Picture. I think run. they are exactly that on the nose. Sure thing, <sighs> Amity Tower goes yeah. up and everyone learns about... Everyone remember to Pokemon go to the polls. ...and Wood will react to the truth about yeah. her. But have any of us considered how we're even going to beat her if we manage to work? She told Oz that he couldn't destroy her. But Somebody. Maybe just so Oz, though. Thank yes. you. Yes! Yes! Thank know. you! Don't, don't... We should don't. be training right now. We've trained enough. What Ooh, is you Ren have nothing explode? but time. What the fuck? <laughs> I want Ren to you, explode. You have nothing but time. You have no plan. That's what you don't have. That's <laughs> as, as, as heck. It's funky, yo. I'm bopping. Ruby, Nora, Ren. Song's a banger. Hey, Donkey. <laughs> Meryl and I tonight, so more friends means more fun. Where are the others? Off doing their own With thing. the boys? Again. Mm -hmm. At least they're back to being oh. friends. Oh. What else would they be? Two people. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I just, I just wanted to do this. Are you serious? The other Hold might on. Be about what? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> they're doing this. Oh wow! I believe I may be Damn! Didn't know that Ben was, was such a closeted well, Batman, bigot. There goes your idea. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. So I they knew were that, fighting. Yeah, you know, Ninja said something about right, fighting. So everyone's coupling. Yeah. What? Yeah, because. What are you doing here? Just uh, hanging out with a friend while she's on. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to be. <laughs> In case what? In case someone tries to start trouble. Here, so feel free to take a hike. Listen, the general's trying Jesus. to help, all right? Just cause. Oh, <laughs> why? Fish squeak is back. <laughs> We're con this is weird, ma'am. This is like general really weird. Surprises tonight. It's just trying yeah. to. Yesterday, you were threatening our lives. <laughs> Yeah, Fine. they're in public stay right now. Out of the way. If I get elected, 
I mean, why would you want the opposition running security for your victory sure. party? You but Ironwood it. isn't the opposition, though. Right. Shock is. The law isn't perfect. I I suppose. It's certainly not equal. I mean, they're both running against the embargo, so Ironwood is kind of the opposition. I love, I love this right now that he's standing yeah. up for Ironwood and she's trying to play the the race card. And he's calling her out on her <laughs> stuff. Legal. Of course. Yeah, sure. I love this character so much more now. I like, know. I mean, too. Oh, that hey! was great. And your your other favorite character. Cow. Yeah, this is my other favorite character. Two of the best faunuses, easily. <laughs> Faunai? Fauna? Uh, Fauna? I think it's just Fauna. Faunus. Faunu. Faunus. Faunus. They're, they're Faunus. <laughs> oh, so Putting many... the fawn in Faunus. I don't mind. No, she's not a know, deer. I almost don't mind the fact that they cut out the riot because there's so many small, cute animation moments in this season that are just adorable, and I love them all. They did it! They said it! Go to the polls! <laughs> they didn't say Pokemon go to the polls. Zero out of ten. As our voice in Atlas. No one has fought. I got a bad feeling about this. I like her voice. I don't. Her delivery. Please don't. I feel like the lights are gonna flicker and the numbers are gonna switch. No, I feel like <laughs> she wasn't even sniper. crying. That was some fake tears. Wait, was her plan maybe? What was was the plan to get Robin elected? Maybe. I think so. No. Oh, wait. Jacques is well, no. A big look, dumb. it went from it went from thirty percent Jock to forty three percent Jock. Oh, oh. Is, are oh, they doing up. this? <laughs> wasn't my best idea ever to go into politics. That's gonna be really funny if they pull Thank a Trump so much, and everyone. he takes the lead. Choosing me. You said well, you I mean, it, he wouldn't take the lead if they were pulling a Trump, so... Oh <laughs> well, no, Trump... Proven to me was, didn't Trump eventually take the lead. stay ahead in 2016? In yeah. electoral yeah. votes? Yeah, which is... Yeah, that which is what the matters. Vote. It's the one that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It seems like Atlas has a popular vote. Ah, there vote. it goes. It keeps going up. This is hilarious. This is this city. <laughs> yeah. I keep thinking there's a sniper I gonna f chop. Kyle. <laughs> no, this is just really funny. We're in the final Ren is oh, like, what the what f is, is that him? pause? Hey, I'm glad you, guys you went up 16% since this afternoon. I'm so happy you managed to hire the one band in Remnant to perform tonight. <laughs> but that band keeps putting out bangers, so I'm good with it. <laughs> I don't know, they do the same for Hold on a second. What's going on here? Been really good with talking. No, yeah, I've never good. known that. Just stop. <laughs> okay! Oh, Alright! Oh my god! I'm nowhere, but I'll take it! Okay! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yay! Uh, nice. Doesn't it make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside? Yeah, everyone's gonna. Oh god, one of them might die. They're gonna Wait, kill Nora. Oh my god. Oh, Wait, all was Penny them attacking die. something then? No. <laughs> Oh. oh, it looked like it looked like it. Just replace from. Why is he here? Why is he here? Why is he here? Of course he's here. He was already Why here. Is... No, I mean in. No, I mean I mean it, like in this room. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Jesus. Too busy smooching, not on the jab. Ah, uh, smooching. Oh, I was right. The lights did flicker, and the numbers are gonna switch. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I'm a few seconds behind. Slaughtering oh, everyone! Oh my what god, he's, he's killing people! Holy f- Oh, he- yo, he's just murdering oh. everyone. Yo. Vibe check. Oh, what? Does is he have an invisibility semblance? What is- I think he what? just- I think he just- Did he moved. hack? No. Oh, f Penny? Yeah, he totally Penny hacked her. Yeah. No! No, 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 no! Please don't! No, no! No! Oh, no. <laughs> What's going on? No! Not again! Oh, they're making it look like... <laughs> he just... Oh! <laughs> he just slashed the cow. Uh. She's gonna get blamed. She's gonna get blamed. What, Penny is? Or... Yeah, because it's like yeah. the, the dark. And everybody's chopped up. Oh my god, okay. Oh, you gotta be <laughs> me! Oh my god. <laughs> But surely she would have known that 
Rob, she pushed oh. Robin over, right? Who wants robot? Penny. And Jock wins. Yeah, that's totally not suspect. Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, it's all because Ruby, of you. say something. Ah! Oh, we did it. What so happened? Some. It was okay. I mean, all right. Really? Oh, oh, Get cool. Penny. Good on him. Yeah, it is. Just he can tell people to stay. I mean, he's the, he's the only one who would know. He was the only Faunus yeah, at this I'm victory right. rally. Faunus can canonically see in the dark, was, right? I, I'm sorry. Yeah. She... I don't know. <gasps> well, oh, f ah! Aha. Uh... Uh -huh. This wasn't us. Yeah, l ask the Faunus that's right there. Don't kill little cowgirl. <laughs> Okay, you I mean, did, did in the, That's a great question. Contact. Did that Faunus, did the cow Faunus see Tyrion? Yeah. Is the question on the mind here. Yeah, and then and then she, he slashed her. Wait, how many Faunus were in that room? They have night vision. Uh, I don't think the Faunus were invited to the victory party. <laughs> yeah, because the Faunus, <laughs> dirty animal. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, buddy. I feel you. R guys, remember when Trump was elected <laughs> and there was a mass shooting at Hillary Clinton's party? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say that, but it's America, so probably. there probably there was, probably was somewhere one. somewhere where that actually happened. I apologize, oh, but... Oh, man, what can happen We've got a long Emotions, day. computing. <laughs> See, th this is why Wee! they... Wee! shouldn't... <laughs> do sh <laughs> like this. Like, and cut and uh, uh, that's the end. Oh this doesn't. This what isn't was right. That? I I don't know. Like, like oh was that God. bad? Was that good? It, I mean, it wasn't good. I know it wasn't that. Okay, so. How, how, oh my God! You guys. Right. As far as the villains' okay. plan, I think it made sense. Because they even ran a distraction while they changed the poll numbers. That was the the blackout and the massacre. Yeah. So they're, and, they're totally uh, the... pinning all of this on Ironwood's robot, which means they're going to blame Ironwood for the pole surge. They're going to blame Ironwood for the, for the you know, the yeah. massacre of the people. The only yeah. way around this is if that cowgirl somehow spotted Tyrion. Hmm. It, it, you can tell that she did. He can go back. The, the only other bit of logic is why would Penny not kill Robin and push her over? You know? If if what if Penny was murdering was everyone, why did she push over Robin? Did she say like Robin look out or did she Yeah look yeah. like she was grabbing her? Yeah. And like how about the fact that Penny glows in the dark? Yeah. Uh, like like no. it's like she's got all these she's got these green eyes, these green swords, and the green little choker. And they people were, would have been able to tell where Penny was they were active at all times. The entire time. And like it wasn't like she was running around flashing I everything. Mean, she was stationary. I it think it spot. was more of a visual, like how Adam glows his, his glowy bits. I think it's more like that, like. Dark. As an animator, uh, as an animator, well, like it makes sense that visually to convey that this isn't Penny. Yeah. Like I, I can understand visually that they have to make her distinct. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think canonically she's like a giant uh, razor keyboard and glows in the dark. I disagree. Um, I disagree. Yeah. I think that she actually does glow. Because like that's that that's not just a okay. a part of her aesthetic. That's unlike Adam, where you could maybe say that was semblance because he doesn't have any like actual way of emitting light. Uh, though I would debate that he also does glow, Adam, yeah. when he does his thing. But like her whole thing is that she's a robot. She has glowy bits. Like she she the has other, like, the other the other thing you guys aren't really considering is that the pure state of panic that's in this mm -hmm. scene. Now that is like, I think a better argument to make. Yeah, like people at the same are time... all, all, all like it's pitch black around you. All you hear is stabbing, murder, and there's a faint green glow moving around the place. Yeah, screaming people, pe people pushing each other. You don't hear, you don't care. You want to get out of there. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me go through. Let me let me, let me look at that party composition again and see how many faunus are there. I'm trying to see if Lamb Girl is. What was the solid. point of the riot? Yeah. What was the point right. of that? Uh, like, was that, was that just there? To make Penny the big sad. Yeah, that, that. Well, I mean, 
So, okay. So Jacques I don't... started riots in order to get people on Robin Hill's side because it was not like they were going to vote for Jacques. He was the one who caused the problem. Um, so yeah, the riots is just the big dumb move and works counterintuitive to what they were planning to do anyway, which was switch the polls. I, I think my huh. idea is... Wow, you're right. No Faunus got invited to this party. Yeah. yeah. Because Robin like, Hill, despite wanting their votes, complete racist. Absolute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, but... Well, what did she say to Mero? Did, wasn't she, like, giving Mero sh- for... Yeah, I love, I loved that scene. That's probably my favorite scene of the season so far. Because Mero, mm-hmm. who's, you know, a Faunus and a dog boy, and he knows how much his people just suffer under this system. And he's like, yeah, yeah, but there are ways where you can make cha- positive change. And, you know, following the law, you know, I managed to work my way up to the military, for God's sake. If I can do it, then other, we can help other people do it too. And um, it just felt like Robin was trying to play the quote-unquote, or the equivalent of the race card on him. It's like, well, you don't know what, you know, we go through as Faunus and Faunus people. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, I know. I'm a Faunus. Like, that, that's that's my favorite line. Because you see that a lot in politics, especially in 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 our world, you know? To answer yeah. your question, Rhett, about the, yes? the cowgirl, she, she was looking at, at Robin, and she turned to look back towards the crowd, and he was in, at her face and slashed her. Like, it was yeah. too close. It was all fast, out of nowhere. So, you could tell that she did see him. Like, it was, he was, she was like, oh, and it was too late. You want to know something I like? They showed that Ren got an upgrade to his semblance that let him detect when people enter the room and stuff like that. But he, they yeah. also made a reason why he was distracted. <gasps> was that? Yeah, he can. Oh, God. He can block emotions and oh. he can feel them now. Well, I mean, which I think is no. is like a cooler power with a lot that's, more. That's what I read from it. Like you saw how he yeah, was meditating, yeah, no, I, I and then that. they walk into yeah. the room. It's just like... Yeah, the 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 background went all Boca when he kissed Nora. So it's like I think I think he just like can feel emotions too, like as well as block them out. He can I, feel I, emotions. I, yeah. What do you mean? Of course he can feel emotions. Yeah. What do you? Mean? His common like, emotion. He needs to feel other people's emotions. He's an empath. Oh yeah. Sure. So let's see. see she sees. Part. No, she sees Tyrion. She yeah, just... she saw him for a split second, and then she got. Uh, he slashes her at the side, and then cuts her with his blade. He doesn't hit her with. He very much tries to make it look. Like... But that was a shallow cut. I mean, obviously this is Ruby, so it could be a she... deeper cut. But like, also, he had uh, the venom, and he had something on his hands too. And also, was Watts like almost? Like string the puppets on the strings. Kind oh yeah, of? yeah. He was oh, totally it was has, so funny. He has he... both Tyrion and Penny on there, and so, every time he moved, he was moving the same way. So Watts had like seven phones lined up like a piano <laughs> keyboard, and he was just like playing them hacker man yeah. style. That was the <laughs> funniest thing I've seen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know what hacker man. So is, they they've funny. hacked into Penny and must have cut off a bit of her brain that allowed her to see a specific aura question mark because like Tyrion D- wait are, Tyrion are just disappeared he went invisible to her at least I I think he just moved like because you know whenever like you see somebody in like a spy movie yeah. and then the, the car passes in front of them and they and they disappear like that's a really common trope that doesn't imply that the, that the character went invisible I am going to rewatch that clip and see yeah. how it goes also make sure you you at 1048 that's Tyrion's coming to, towards the girl. His eyes are glowing purple, and so is the thing on her, his hand. So she was po- she was a uh, you know poisoned. There's venom in that. Um, I don't know because the, no, no, no. That was his uh, aura. That no, was his his no, aura is no, purple. We, it's only his hand. Look at look at ten forty eight. Yes, I, I'm, I'm looking at it. Hand. I'm looking at it. His hand is glowing with aura, because that that's that's the aura special effect, and his was purple. We saw that in volume four. And I noticed, because I, no- I noticed that, he uses a- s- he doesn't use his weapon, he just uses his hand to swipe and break her aura. That he's was his goal wearing, He's wearing something where he also is wearing the rings that Watts got. I have another pause. Mm. Uh, uh, no, I mean, uh, looking, looking he's at wearing his- wearing that ring right there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's think... part of his, uh, that's part of his, uh, uh wristband. Okay. I that's, think Dashie's right, though. Like, Listen if- to me. 
Yeah, go ahead. No, no, I think Dash is right. Like, I'm looking at his tail, and it's filled with the same purple. So I think he just has poison in his tail, and he has poison in that ring. Anti-aura poison or something I wish like Discord that. worked so I can, t- I can show you what I'm talking about. Because right when he touches her, like, it's her clothes are almost stained before he scratches. Right in 1048. So there's something coming out of that, there. That's, that's just his fingers scraping across the aura. Dude. I have sat down and studied aura extensively. <laughs> As much as you one person possibly could. I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, doubt you, but I'm telling you what I'm seeing, like right here. I don't know how else to explain it. I wish, where the hell is this? Basically, she comes out, I don't think she's been poisoned, but I think maybe there is something special going on that we don't know about where he just destroyed her aura somehow. Um, that said, her aura I, don't, I don't know why they didn't immediately get Robin off the stage. This is some... her aura flash. The Kagura. What the the Kagura? Yeah, <laughs> the, the the way Aura breaks is different every scene. It's it like, it, yeah. This thinking about it is just here to start arguments and deflect criticism. It, it yeah, doesn't matter. Normally, when Aura breaks, it's like smash and it's all gone. Tyrion's thing specifically cut a hole in it. Yeah, it's different. It's a different thing. Well, I so. mean, it, yeah, it's, he just has something that can bypass Asterix aura. Asterix could be a different thing. We don't know yet. We, we, we have to wait. To, uh, we have to find out what happened because we're, we're not going to learn that for a little while. But the my my ruling on it is I don't think she's been poisoned with anything. I just think that he just he was cutting her specifically to make it look like Penny did it. That's that's about all we need to know. My question is, why didn't they get Robin off the stage? This is like F grade bodyguard work. The minute shit starts think, to go topsy mean, turvy, that was Penny's plan, I believe. Like she immediately says, "Huntresses to me," gets the cowgirl there and tries to get the other huntresses around. And then a few moments later, Tyrion comes on stage, slashes the cow, gets out, and then Penny runs up to try and defend her and get her off stage. I, I can see that, sort of. Also, I don't know why they left her there. Like they should have gotten her and the cowgirl out. Like I know I get it that everyone's angry at them, but like. I would risk a kidnapping charge to make sure A, a political party doesn't get assassinated and B, yeah. to save the cute little cowgirl because uh, I want to save the cute little cowgirl and she needs all the head pats and, uh, and cuddling to get well soon. Um, but then uh, 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 now, now I want to take a more macro look at these things because this, this is frustrating me. What exactly does this accomplish other than just setting up general chaos? I mean, okay. Isn't that their goal? <laughs> well, it pins it all on Ironwood. Jacques is completely Does innocent really? here. really? I mean, like, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they just said, murdered. They literally said, it's Ironwood's robot. They literally said Ironwood's it. robot, Ironwood's guards, that they didn't want them there in the first place. Ironwood, you know, put them there in order to make sure things were safe. Wait, hear me out. To what end? To what end? Well, I mean, the people... It's Ruby. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Batman, just framing him. save that for a minute. That's what we're trying to do. So... I, I, I'm Salem right now in this scenario. I'm no, no, thinking, no, 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 not okay. Salem, not Salem. I'm saying from the outsider's perspective looking in, Ironwood's robot has just attacked a major political candidate who was running up against another major political candidate who was running a very similar platform. In fact, another, a different political candidate that just won the election. So it's, you have to ask why would they carry out an assassination, a public assassination, mind you, in the middle of, you know, a broad nightlight? Uh, why would they carry that out when the polls weren't finished? Why would they carry that out when the political hmm. opposition has basically the same policy but different implementation? Why would they carry that out? What, what, what does that serve the Atlas military the only reason I could see is saying, oh, there's something secret going on behind the scenes. That's the only thing you could argue. There's no other... Yeah, I, like, I see that. The only like thing is that, oh, they were trying to assassinate Robin, but they failed. Okay, but okay, why? but I here... Why by the, hold on. Hold, What's the purpose? Hold on. By, by the same the token... Voice of the people. You take away the voice of the people, you take away the people's voice. That's, you know? that's like, a campaign it, slogan. Yeah. It, but... By that logic, Jacques is equally should have equally been targeted. 
Because he was also but, going to win the polls. Well, but the close. Atlas military and Jacques right now, they look like they're two peas in a pod. They look like they love each other. No, he you is know, public. Ironwood is Literally being portrayed as Jacques' episode, friend. Jacques started a freaking class war. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean... They want to get Ironwood out. They want... He has two seats in the council. Because, uh, you know, big ass... The, villains, that, the villain's plan... And also... <sighs> Continue, sorry. Thank you. Um, oh my god, no. Uh, That's okay, take a moment. They want to get... The, oh, I had it all. I'm, I'm sorry, too. Like, I have memory issues. But anyway. Uh, Alright, so... <clears throat> to what end? Either way, both of them don't like Ironwood. They're... From the very beginning, they want to frame him. And they want to frame him good. To the point of getting, like rid of him completely where he can't there's nowhere for him to go he has two seats in the council right now and uh you know it's he's what stands in in both of their ways yeah they're not teaming up to get rid of ironwood but that's what would work we still don't know 100 percent what watts and and Tyrion, you know what the plan is for them with that we just know that he's obviously behind all this obviously and and to remove penny as well, blaming her, so maybe like to to dismantle her and get rid of her, and like you said, maybe she's gonna die, maybe. But the point is, they want to get Ironwood out completely. Uh, I, <laughs> there was more to that, and I I can't. Well, here's no, the no, thing. And... like in the short term, if this is purely a short term plan, like they're implementing whatever they're planning tonight, like like they, like their entire plan here was just to cause general chaos. Plan succeeded. We're a okay. This is this is fine. I understand why they did it. It makes some sense. But if this is some part of a longer strategy, I do not see this holding up under scrutiny of the public eye, because then you could it like. It also was for that. It was for the grim at the end. It could it be <laughs> something along the lines of. I mean, I'm just speculating, but it could be. Yeah, let's cause chaos now. And while Atlas is busy dealing with the chaos, while the military is distracted, we go in and take the relic, or go in and take the maiden, or something like that. Yeah, like yeah. Using Ra this Raymond, more how many distraction? Yeah, Raymond, how many times did we go over Cinder's speech and determined that the only way to make it functional was to make it less coherent? Exactly. Like, like that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> right now, it, because the thing is, Cinder's speech was not a long-term plan. It was literally create distraction, go in. Get maiden powers. Get relic. Get out. That was that yeah. Was and it. there's nothing to suggest that the plan is different this time. True. I'm but certain. the fact of the matter is, they had an election that they wanted Jacques to win. So the question is, what purpose does that end up serving? Unless that nobody would... likes Jacques. I I guess. Like I don't I don't know. Like 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 I said, okay. it all depends okay. on what so follows. Whether or not this this makes massacre sense. this massacre isn't meant to throw people. Man, Jacques is the greatest. That's not what this is meant to do. This is mainly just to throw even. This is to break Ironwood effectively. Because from the villain's perspective, Ironwood is the last bastion of defense when it comes to Atlas. Like he's the one running the military. He's planning to overthrow Salem, or at least is planning to work with Oz to overthrow Salem. Mm -hmm. So while both sides, you know, Robin Hill, I don't think Robin Hill even hates Ironwood. He's like she, she's annoyed by him and wants to change things, but isn't like down with Ironwood. She's more down with Jacques, who is the one controlling all the labor and the mines and all of that. <laughs> uh, sorry for the swearing. Um, but more so than anything else, it's just the villain's idea of, hey, Jacques is our person, we can control Jacques if we get him this power, if we get him into power. And at the same time, we can also use this as an opportunity to get both sides absolutely hating Ironwood, so that they go and murder his ass, and he won't be a problem to the villains anymore. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That's, that's my logic towards things. Beautiful. Thank you. But like I said, that only works in the short term because his assassination ploy does not they, hold up under long term scrutiny. They don't. They. And that's, they, that's, okay, that's, wait, wait, hold no on, hold on, hold on. Smear. Why do you think they need a long term plan when their goal is to get in, get relic, get out? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it, it will, this episode, it's it, the episode, sorry, the quality of this moment will depend very much upon what we learn the villain's plan is following it. It's very Maybe. much the, if it is a purely short-term plan 
then it's a very good short-term plan. If it's a long-term plan, for whatever reason, it is a terrible long-term plan if their goal is to frame Ironwood. But again, like, no, it all determines long term long term plans never work, even in our politics. Like how many times have people said, oh, it's just a plan so we can get Trump impeached? You know, like, <coughs> like Trump has done so much bullshit. <coughs> and at the same time, like everyone's saying, oh, this time, this will be the thing that impeaches him because it's all been building up over a long period of. No, it isn't like you're either going to do it once or it's never going to happen. And it's not. So, like, I, I don't understand why this needs to be a long-term plan. That's what I this just... Seemed... Here, here's the thing. This is fiction. Long-term plans can go, not necessarily without a hitch, but they can function. And to a lesser extent, they can in reality, but it's very rare that they do. I agree with that. But I'm saying, in fiction, there's a much higher chance that a long-term plan will pan out. Mm. That said, also... it's just it's just the fact of the matter is we don't know what their plan is, and it, it very much depends if their plan is one or the other. That's all. I'm okay, think about. Okay, about... Here, here's how I see this plan. The plan is right now is to pin the election results on Ironwood and make it look like he really hates Robin because his robot murdered a bunch of people. Therefore, you know, instead of asking, I wonder if it's some shady third party that's rigging the election, they'll just say, Oh, it's Ironwood rigging the election. That's yeah. the plan, as far as I see it. That that's that's a decent short term plan. Man. Yeah, but okay, think about uh, Vale and think about Haven, right? The, they did all this all this nonsense, all this malarkey, and then they just left. Like they they rigged the White Fang to blow up Haven Tower. That, <laughs> that didn't did even happen. that didn't even happen. That didn't even go off. That didn't even work. <laughs> I remember and that. And they were still just like out the door the next day, and they never looked back. Next like th they their plans don't need to make sense. They're, they they just like their goal is just relic, and then ye. It's not it's not a. They're, they don't have grand machinations. Their grand machinations are on a biblical scale because they want to summon the gods and then, like, destroy the entire world or whatever they want to do. But the point is, the, 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 the thoughts, the, the, this is Game of Thrones, right? The, like, it, the, they spend all this time on, like, oh, hey, look, people, people doing political <laughs> And then it's like, oh no, zombies. <laughs> like, this is them. This is, oh, hey, look. Atlas people doing political stuff. And then, oh, hey, look, gods. Like, the, 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 it's not about, it's not about what the, what's going to happen to the kingdoms. The kingdoms are like ants to them. I have a question. How many, how many relics are there again? Four. 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 How many did the villains have in their possession so far? None. El Zilcho. <laughs> Zero. So the plan's going great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the plan's going perfectly. The plan's going beautifully. Maybe they should try long-term planning. Maybe. <laughs> that might help them. It, think, I mean, it's... Do you think look, the villains know that the uh, Myronwood or somebody there has the the maiden, too? I like, mean, to it's assumed there? that it's whoever owns the school, because the school is where they keep the relics. Yeah. And, and that's Ironwood. Together. Right, but not necessarily the maiden herself. Pro I mean, probably, but like, you know, like considering that they figured out that Amber was going to be walking down a dirt road in, mm. in the old town road in the in the oh, countryside. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing a clip she, of that. You, you, yes, you are. No. <laughs> Copyright. Amber took her horse to that old town road and then she literally rode until she and couldn't she anymore. Died till she can't know. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond's like burning up right now. <laughs> anyway, is there anything much else to be said in this episode? Well, I mean, yeah, we, we've, we've been, been on just one thing for like the entire. Yeah, we've been on that one scene. Yeah. I, I kind of want to look at the um Red the and scene Nora. with how cute, how delightful. I have some words about that. Yeah. I, uh, I gotta give paper to someone. Ugh. Ren, despite being able to feel emotions, is oblivious to the lesbians in the room. <laughs> what else could they be, that's Nora? Hilarious. What else could they be? Yeah, God, I don't, I don't want to feel good about that because, like, Nora and Ren have known each other for more than half their lives at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way that they were older than ten when they met. 
Right. right? Those little right. kid models, those were not like Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, I would. They've say known eight. each other for. I would say eight. Yeah, I would say eight too. So they've. So like, and even if they were like nine, oh they they still known each other for okay. more than half their okay. lives, and Next. and they don't get each other. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> uh, so so then, what are you saying with that? That 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 should not have happened. What happened? What what are you, what are you saying with the with the fact that they know each other? Yeah, I'm not sure. I get your point. I, that they just that that Ren's like oh I've never been good at talking it's like did you Nora should know that well yeah he, he's right. just re saying right it, was actually continuing it, it would have made to it would have made the him. same amount of sense if he say you know I'm not so good at talking mm-hmm. and something I, was bothering him the whole time uh, and he he was uncomfortable being you know having a day off he was already on edge on Ren edge I guess which is slightly perturbed. Well, the idea evil. being is that he was uncomfortable talking to Nora, specifically, uh-huh. because he had these feelings for her. And he couldn't really talk about those feelings, and Rora, ironically, was able to sense his emotion, and uh, went in for the smooch. And said, it was, I thought it was a pretty words. great scene. Screw words and grabbed her, and grabbed him, and I, yeah, I, I, I thought I, it was Here's great. the thing, like, if he's the one that's bad with words, I think he maybe should have been the one to instigate the kiss. But I get that, like, mm. I think is I don't know what they were going with here. I like because like they were, they had that that whole expression of like them hand holding at the end of volume four. They didn't bring it up until, uh, until they didn't bring up their relationship until just at the beginning of this volume in episode three, and even then it was just sort of this weird like rocky relationship type deal. It's like, I mean, they were just they okay up until this very moment right now. They have been close friends. And I know people are going to give me shit for that. But, you know, holding someone's hand and being affectionate towards them does not necessarily mean that you are in, like, a mutual loving relationship. Correct. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they were getting closer. They were building it up slowly. And now we have reached the point. It's like, yeah, we both have feelings for each other. And this kind of confirms it. Uh, Side note, at 937... Right then was not the... Sorry, I... I... Right then was... You go, you go. Sorry. Oh, God. Um, th- that was not the time to start making out. You know, you just defeated your your childhood trauma. It was it, it's a <laughs> you're not gonna sit there and you're tongue. So right. <laughs> uh, anyway, at nine thirty seven, am I the only one that notices their hands are really small? Nine thirty. Their hands look like, especially seven. Nora's left hand that's coming around Ren's back. It just looks really tiny, especially in comparison to the size of his head. Because the other no, general rule I mean, of thumb is that your hand is roughly the size of your face. <laughs> I, mean, well, I mean, it's a stylized it, like, character. I, I, I'm, I'm putting my hand on my forearm the same way Nora's is, and it goes about as far. And I'm putting my hand. I don't know, it's just, I'm it, putting it, my it's hand down, down my on. pants. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy. Um, <laughs> sorry, it just it it looked weird to me. Okay, but I don't know. It just it feels. It, this rocky relationship thing just kind of feels like it came out of nowhere, like as opposed to. Like, I agree. Like, like, and it, this I was, disagree. Going back to episode three or Fat Man's, like, oh, I think they just put that in to get a jibe at John. No, they didn't. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't. And then they, they came back to this episode. Like, they didn't mention it since they had this episode, where suddenly it just comes to a head, and now uh, apparently political rallies are just the perfect place to just have a, a hot makeout session. Uh, well, I mean, up until this moment, this was a celebration party. Robin was in the lead, you know, people hated Jacques. What could possibly go wrong, Raymond? And also, it was downtime, they were, had their yeah. day off, they didn't it's have the time off. to even think, because they were training and training and training. So, me and Dashie are the ones with the correct opinions here, is what, what I, I The thing is, it just, it feels, <laughs> it feels, it feels like it just came out of nowhere, it feels contrived at this moment, especially because it's possibly the only explanation why he didn't detect Tyrion as he should have. I think that's a. I don't think that's contrived at all. Yeah. I think you know, considering that they built this up for a few episodes now, back when they were in the mines and having that sort of scuffle, if that didn't exist, then uh, I would uh, agree uh, with so, you. So, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm, I'm gonna let you finish, but not, not the last few episodes got a build up of exactly twenty seconds of screen time from one episode three episodes ago. That is not build up. That is that, that is, is point one and then point two. A build-up requires at least three, if not more, points. 
<laughs> oh, you're dealing with semantics here, Raymond. You're I'm not talking with semantics. You are. You're literally saying it needs X amount of points up to be a build-up. this build episode, up. we thought that was literally just a joke pointed at John. No, no, I didn't. didn't think that. I was you arguing didn't think that with you. I was arguing with Batman. you saying that it uh, I mean, okay, I'm I, I'm going to say the only reason I thought that was just a joke pointed at Jean is because they literally didn't touch this in volume five or six. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's like... Uh-huh. Like... Like, right. and the, I was okay, angry too. they I had was upset. nothing but downtime in volumes five and six. Yes, you're they, absolutely They right. didn't do anything. So the fact that they went two volumes without talking about this and now suddenly it's a problem. Like... Okay, the, okay, saying it that way makes sense. Like, oh, they didn't talk for that long. But then Nora becomes the one that's like, "Wait, girl, what are you on? What 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 are you, what's happening with you?" Cuz it takes time. She could have talked to Brent at, at at any point. They had this moment where they're like, "Oh, hey, we just got over this thing. We're going to hold hands now." And then they didn't talk about it. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean Okay, that that's true. But, but also, she because she knows him, he needs time. He he. She needs to find a right feeling. Not even like anything. It's just a feeling that you have when somebody you know, to to get it in there. And also, the the part where, uh, the whole downtime, again, their child. They're almost like I know they're not brothers and sisters. Don't attack me. But it's they. They're family, and they just killed the, the thing that ruined their life. And and it's like, you gotta. I don't know. That was There's a, no time for anything right now. I, I agree with Dashi. That was a big moment for them as people, not necessarily. <laughs> well, as it's a not couple. the thing that ruined Nora's life. Like the whole say. point of them defeating Jesus their Christ. childhood thing is that they acknowledged that they are special to each other. Like they acknowledged that yes, you're an important person to me, and I'm an important person to you. That grows slowly, and we don't. I mean, I would have liked to see more of it. If that that's a fair criticism, that I would have liked to see more little moments of them same, coming out yes. of their shell. But right. at the same time, I don't feel like this is out of nowhere when it's like, yeah, you know, Ren is getting, it's getting a little bit too close now. And Rora keep no, Rora? Nora keeps pushing <laughs> further and further to have more social moments with Ren. He's not comfortable with it talking to her because he has these feelings. And it's, it's... I think it's honestly not that bad, and there's a fly buzzing around. To clarify, to clarify what I was saying in the in episode three, what I said, what like I I was not necessarily in agreement with Fat Man, nor was I like I was worried. And this is the worry. I was worried that they were trying to do something with Ren and Nora, and my worry ended up being correct. I was hoping it was just a joke at John, but like like I said, I they didn't have any kind of indication this was coming. And it just, it feels, it feels forced. It feels jarring and sudden as opposed to being natural to the characters. And the climax to it happening, or at least a climax of it happening, right now, at this moment, localized entirely inside of your kitchen. All right? I, I, I have frustration with it. Uh, now, the moment itself, properly built to, which it wasn't, but properly built to, would have been good. Although I'm not really sure I like Neath's performance there. He was kind of the writing there, I like, there was there were some elements there that I really didn't like too. Just okay. the writing was kind of weak. First... Kind of the, the Well you know what I say to you, sir? I say bah humbug. Well, for somebody that's not used to talking and is not good with words, okay, to, it's gonna build up and build up and build up and it's gonna be quieter and it's gonna be snippy and just leave me alone. And uh, for Right before the scene, they're walking, and he's worried about Ironwood as well. He also tried to change the subject in that room because he saw Ironwood getting all upset, and he was like, "Yeah, so we're, you know, he changed the, the." It was a little awkward, but it was it was him. It was like that weirdness that he has, but he, like little by little, like he's he's getting more and more worried. So, you know, like I can see that. I don't. You're right. I could, I would love to see a little bit more. I'm sure all of us could. I think that we could have subtracted a scene where they're all in a room talking and added a scene with just a smidge more Ren and Nora. I mean, I... Because I honestly, then that would, I, I, that would I, fill Raymond's quota of three scenes in order to have a successful build-up. Yeah, I mean, like... I, I, without actually acknowledging the quantity of those scenes. Uh, sorry, sorry, you want to talk... The, the quantity versus quality of the scenes... 
Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> not acknowledging it for five or for volumes five or six is in itself like an action. Yes. that can't go ignored. It's an action. Even if it was a, that, even if it was a mistake neutral. on the writer's part, even if it was like, oh, we just didn't have time, despite nothing well, happening in it volume five. That they like, were staying neutral for that amount of time, and that things didn't progress. And now that things haven't progressed for a long time, obviously Nora was trying to push for things to progress more. And Ren was like, no, I actually like right now. You know, I don't want to like advance any further because I'm afraid of what would happen. Or at least that's the feeling I get from it. I, you know, Fat Man, it's been, it feels like it's been a while since you and I have like agreed on something. <laughs> it, it feels good to be, yeah. on, to be back in your yeah. a little bit right now. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm glad it's uh I'm it's let, it's been I'm a while since alone. someone's agreed with me on anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Uh, but no, I okay, yeah, let's let's I, let's move. I, obviously we we've all kind of chosen yeah, our camps and we'll, we'll all see people. what the comments yeah. say, shall we? Yeah, yeah. leave a yeah. Le- leave a comment if if you think that ninja is right. Uh ninja say and Dashy. say and Dashy. And, Dashy. yes. Yes, if you think Ninja and Dash are right, and uh, if you want ten dollars, say me and Raymond are right. <laughs> We're not going to give it to you, but you know, hey, and if, it's if only you if vote you for want Fat $10, Man, I'm going to come to your house. You and <laughs> if you vote for Fat Man and Raymond, I'm going to rig the poll anyway. Come to your yeah. show and murder you, and then blame it on a robot. And I'll get yeah. scratched, and I'll bleed Rainbow. <laughs> uh, uh, so okay, yeah. let's talk about that. That. That bumblebee moment because I didn't catch that. Movie. Yeah, I didn't catch that. Either. I need to go back. Let's see. Yeah, which part? The one where she's talking about her, or the actual like dancing and stuff? I'm gonna rewatch it. Starts oh, around two thirty time. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I'm excited to see. I, I, I'm hoping we get to see a little bit of the dance club next episode. That music was nice. I enjoyed it very. I much. I was vibing to that tunes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That. Yeah, that that song is um, pretty pretty good for this season. I like I didn't really care for the um, rock song from episode three, uh, but this song was was uh, approvable. So wait, Weiss went to the movies with Oscar and John. Mm-hmm. Y- yeah, <laughs> I just like so. Hentai was right. Why is hentai no, right? No, 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 no. no, no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She didn't want to so do what Ruby was going to do. She didn't want to go to a victory party where it wasn't a victory yet. She didn't want to go anywhere near that. Yeah, so she was so just Weiss like, whatever, I'll take whatever. Yeah. It, no, see, like, Weiss is, Weiss is you know, the, a, a Ruby analyst. She's like, what is Jacques' <laughs> plan? What's the long-term benefit of Jacques' plan of announcing a thing? Oh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So and says so she's. I'd ra- get, I think uh, out of all teams. of the three scenarios, I'd rather just go to the movies with Jacques and Oscar. That sounds like a yeah, good yeah I know, I would too. <laughs> oh man, I don't know it'd be a tie between that and the dance club. <laughs> um, is it also possible that like they set up the riot that most were were, what's her face's supporters, so that they could say, oh yeah, so that they would get arrested so get a- before the election and they day, wouldn't be able to vote. Well, they were going to rig the polls anyway, so. But like, well, make, it look, I, more, I, make it look more convincing. Yeah, if they if they rigged the polls and twenty percent turned to eighty percent, then obviously that's bull. <laughs> but it was like a ten percent difference to start with. No, it was a there was a it, it was thirty seventy. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't twenty eighty. Yeah, it was, no, it was thirty seventy. Well, Never mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just glad about one thing here, like something that the fandom has been saying for a while is when Nora actually asked a question, like, okay. Jin said that Oz couldn't do it, but can anyone else can't do it? Like at least they, they, you know, said it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, can I just say how cool is this world in that every single political candidate has their own logo? I mean, everyone has their own logo in this world. It's really cool. Uh, but uh, shout out to Ivy Brown and Pearl Whist. Wistier. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Little <laughs> Ivy. I mean, Ivy Brown for Council. She's the only one promising free ponies to every single citizen. <laughs> oh my god, you know Vermin Supreme? Yes, I know Vermin Supreme. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad that someone else knows of Vermin Supreme. Who doesn't know I of love Vermin him so Supreme? Much. That man's a Me, legend. I don't a know about anything, so I don't care. He's a political candidate, literally wears a boot on his head. 
Yeah. Oh, you started off with political. I zoned out. <laughs> Dashy. He I wears mean, yeah. a boot on his head. His policy. That's awesome. His policy is the free yeah, pony policy. That he, he wants to base all economics on everyone having their own pony. That's great. Yes. That's, that's. I fabulous. mean, he's he's fantastic. Watching seeing Ivy Brown there was just like Jeb Bush twenty twenty. It's just it's all the yeah. memes of Jeb D- winning a hundred percent. Remember when D's nuts ran? <laughs> D's, yeah, D's, D's nuts. Harambe is a write-in. You know, you got all I'm these. I'm just sitting here like, Gary Johnson! <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> the Libertarian like, hang party. on, where... I'm trying to find somewhere I can post this. God damn it. Is Discord uh, still? Yeah. Yep, Discord's still. Ah! Uh, still? Wow. Huh. All right, I'll look at the thing. So, yeah, uh, Yang and... and uh, uh, yeah, Tell you what, Yang I'll and Nor- uh, uh, Blake doing the little dance Blake? was cute. Yeah, that was pretty cute. The, she was. I like that. Yeah. Okay. By the What's way, I, disclaimer, disclaimer, people. Okay, <laughs> when I ship it up, I'm doing it for Raymond. Really, like me and Raymond have this like shipping relationship of where we're we're a couple of schoolgirls who run across the room and like grab each other's hands and we're like, I know, so and we cute. jump up and down in circles. Like we're just holding hands up in the circles, like dun, dun. like it's for him, really. When I meme it up, it's because of him. I I'm really not like that. So. I mean, to, to be fair, I'm not super vehement on the shipping either. I I, I don't typically like. When I disparage a right, ship, but... it's always joking. I I always joke about it. if you if you ship something, yeah. it's I'm not gonna <laughs> shit you down. I just enjoy my ships. I right, think and it's just fine. Is... And I celebrate it with you, just you know, dancing around like a couple of schoolgirls. <laughs> I don't get shipping. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like the way that it's done around these parts, neither do I. But I well, just don't hurt anybody in front. The way I... wait 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 a minute one minute one minute. I'm just looking through that scene, and yeah, Tyrion just straight up impales a dude on his tail. Yeah, he I was. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to come back interesting on the autopsy <laughs> report. But I guess. <laughs> I mean, Penny does use stabbing and piercing weapons. Yeah, with her but that's swords. a radically different type of stab wound. Like, like a a circular, a, okay. a conical uh, uh, tail as opposed to a, a ang- angular blade. Radically different autopsies. However, there is the point to be said that. The mor- martyr, sorry, the morgues are probably run by Atlas Military. So, eh. I think you're thinking way too deep. Yeah. I am, but the thing <laughs> is, the writers should be thinking more about this. This is this is this is like the the the, the surface level thinking that writers should be doing. Like, you, or maybe the timeline <laughs> the, the, it does isn't relevant to their plans because they're gonna get in and they're gonna of kill course, the maiden yes, and they're gonna like open the vault in the next day and a half. It's, it's, I, mean, like, I literally said, Brit, I'm going to take you out for a drink, you know? But then I'm like, no, they might ship us. So, okay, excuse me, forget it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, I mean, as far as I'm, I, if I'm the villains and I'm aware that the maiden is an old <laughs> woman, why would I even bother killing her? Because then they're just going to give the maiden powers this. I mean, Cinder's not here. Who are they going to give the maiden powers Yo. to? It has to be Yeah, a girl. they don't have a girl. Is is Tyrion secretly trans? That's that'd be cool. <laughs> I was gonna say what? <laughs> yeah, you and I are on sync today. What the hell? I mean, that yeah. that mustache comes right off. You're yeah. a phony, a phony. <laughs> but like, you know, why don't they just keep her an old <laughs> woman? And like, because Atlas isn't gonna murder the old woman in order to speed things along a little bit, you know? Uh, fat man, you're listening. <laughs> No, no, see, that that's more on my side, because it's the villain's plan to keep her alive. Yeah, the villains would <laughs> yeah. plan on keeping her alive so that they don't have a young spring or winter maiden. They still need her to open the door for them, though. Mm-hmm. That's true. Only a maiden can open a door. <laughs> just, that's what yeah. I was asking if they you know they're there. I just it's time to kidnap like, grandma. Like the elevator going down to the vault, like the doors open on that, and there's the vault doors across the way. And you just see the, the old lady's body just get flung <laughs> out of the door and onto the vault door and just slams into it. And just... I imagine a funnier scene where they have to wait for the old maiden to make their way across the long bridge towards the door. <laughs> just, and it's eh. just like. Eh, eh, and it takes eh, forever, and they just have to pick her up and move her. Oh, speaking to of the old door. ladies, where's Maria? She I mean, I, I keep telling you, you. She I, I off. hope she's at the dance club. <laughs> you know what? They yeah, were yeah, Pietro. Accepted. 
Yeah, yeah, no, that see, that would be that would be a really funny scene if Bla if if Blake and and Yang show up to the dance club and then like they're there and they're having a good time and then Maria just intrudes on them like, hey, what are you two gear. doing here? <laughs> and she's just having a great time and and yeah, she's like, in like a raver outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With she's, <laughs> she's got her glow sticks going. Oh my yeah, god, exactly. Got, like 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 uh, uh, like Mexican face paint, like skulls and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, she'd be DJing. I can see it. Oh, I, I, okay. If that doesn't happen in the next episode, I'm gonna riot. <laughs> it's not gonna be because of the bumblebee scene. It's gonna be because there's no Maria. All right. <laughs> oh lord. Um, but, so, uh, that was. I have. Very, very mixed feelings. Oh, uh, it. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait really. till. The, we'll it's we'll see yeah. the episode. Wait until it's a completed product. All right. So, are we ready to uh, cut it here? Cut. I'm good for that. Ch well, no, we need to answer questions. Yeah, ask here. the questions. Oh, questions. Sure. Did, did people use hashtag? What? <laughs> it was hashtag <laughs> and <laughs> not. Oh, What's hashtag right. stand for? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, media got screenshots of the ones that were already posted. Beautiful. All right, so here, here we go. go. Oh, Good hey, job, media. Uh, Thank you. Media asks, Ruby, what do you think of Ruby and Weiss's reaction to all the relationship drama? Um, pretty standard. I mean, like if I were in that situation, I'd just be like, "All right, we get it. You're gay. Look, I." I yeah, eyes rolling. Mm -hmm. Uh, although if I were Ruby and Weiss in specific, I'd be being like, "I want that with someone too." Oh, Ruby. Oh, Weiss. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> like I think it was pretty sound. Like Ruby could not give a hoot. She just sort of backed out of that scene. It was like Penny just saved me from this. Weiss was even funnier because like the moment Jean suggested yeah. literally anything else from going to politics or going to a gay club. It was like, I'm done. I'm going there. <laughs> Do you want to? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that that's so funny. And it's also funny because I know that like, didn't in season one, Jean have kind of the hearts for Weiss? Yeah. Well, yeah, not kind of. Yeah, did, yeah. He did. Yeah, before Pyrrha came now, along. Now I'm hoping yeah. they just keep it as, oh, yeah, now we're friends. We're totally just friends. <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. if you do Lancaster, I will strangle someone. Uh, I will. I. You know what? British Ninja, right now, I think it might actually end up that way. I think it really it, do what, be like what? that. I know who Isn't I'm Lancaster, Jean, and... <laughs> isn't isn't Lancaster, Jean, and Ruby? Oh, crap, yeah. you're right. Lancaster, yeah, I thought Jean. so. Is it... Like, I mean, I've always predicted White that Knight. it would be Jean White and Knight. Ruby, you. but I'm either, I, feel either like, of them. I feel like it makes more sense for, like, I don't know, it makes more, like, Jean and Ruby have better chemistry than Jean and Weiss, but I can also see, like, Jean hooking up with, um, Schnee. It's the haircut. Brandon, the animation hipster, asks... How do you all feel about Robin? Does she feel like an attempt to create a clear, one-sided good candidate who tragically lost to Jacques in the election? More of a morally gray character who has a very action-focused mentality given a possible Huntsman background. Okay, that is a good question. That is a beautiful question. I, I don't like her attitude. She's very rude. She's very, like, yeah. I don't know. Because all Ironwood was doing, okay, whether you believe it or not, was just offering some protection because it's, you know it's gonna there was a riot we want to help and marrow was oh my god marrow i loved him there too yeah marrow was just being polite and you know literally calling her a man and he was just she was just ill there's i can't put my finger on it she's a little too snotty or, she I okay i can explain that scene entirely she was snipey because marrow does not fit her narrative like, Marrow is this Farnus who has worked his way up and is has quite a successful life in the military. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's very law-oriented. He's your classic lawful good versus chaotic good here, with Robin obviously being chaotic okay. good. She doesn't, yeah. give, she doesn't care about the law, which is interesting because she's using the law to get what she wants anyway, you know? Yeah, she literally said our law is yeah. perfect, you know? So I think yeah. if, if that little scene with Marrow didn't exist... And it was just, she is a flawless, uh, yeah, she, she, the, the law is terrible, uh, and she just gets what she wants. Um, yeah, I'd agree that she's a bit of a Mary Sue. Or not Mary yeah. Sue, but, uh, you know, 
objectively be- yeah, she, good she, candidate. And, and I think the thing is, like, I, she is objectively better than Schnee than Jacques, she, of course. Her whole thing is that she, her heart's in the right place. She is the objectively good, good person in the race, uh, but she's rude, mm. and so they tried to give her a little more yeah. of an edge to that. I don't like that. I would like there to be a little more dirt with her, but uh, it could be worse. It could be way no, worse. So uh, I also, uh, I also disagree with that. I think the fact that she's rude stops her from being this objectively perfect candidate. No, 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 you no, know? no. Like, like, she, like she, when it comes to like policy and like her menta- her, her her motive behind it, she seems pure in her motives. Is what I'm saying, and that. That's never true for any political candidate. She, okay, so she wants, she wants what's good, but she recognizes the enemy. And the quote-unquote enemy to her thing is the law. Like, she can't invoke some of her policies because they had this whole conversation. It's like, do you intend to do all of this kind of stuff legally? And she was like, hey, you know, the law isn't always perfect. Right. You know? Uh, So she's your chaotic good versus lawful good kind of situation. (laughs) But oh, that's still, I don't know, you guys seem to disagree, but she wasn't willing to stand up to the f***ing law. She postponed uh, standing up to Chaotic, it chaotic good does not mean chaotic stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that She's not, I mean, it's more though. beneficial I, for her I to mean, go this way. I mean, you seem to think it's chaotic stupid, but it, f- facts are facts. She came back empty handed. Yeah, but no one takes an anarchist seriously. Like, I mean, she was winning before they got hacked. Like, yeah, she was winning because she was doing this properly. She ran an anti-establishment uh, campaign versus the establishment, and people were pissed off enough because of all the, the crap going around that she was actually gaining traction. If she was just like, <laughs> the system, I don't care, I'm going to go kill Jacques right now and take his head, and I'm going to be king of the Wigglers... You know, that that wouldn't have flown with the people. People need structure and society. Society! Ah! Uh, I was going to say, it it would be like Ron Paul, you know, or or like some kind of, like, radical libertarian candidate. It's like, let's let's, let's go Gary Johnson. It's like Gary Johnson being like, I don't like U.S. foreign policy. I'm going to personally go out (laughs) and fire anti-tank rockets at our freaking troops. To, to make sure that they aren't, you know, doing their, their foreign policy. I That would not look good on on an election <laughs> uh, uh, ballot, my friends. Yeah. Uh, are you going to do that in Aleppo? I don't eat Italian food. Kornisha <laughs> <laughs> uh, asks, How frustrating was this episode to you guys? I'm pretty sure for me and Fat Man it was kind of frustrating. <laughs> I I mean, compared to the last episode, this was not frustrating at all. <laughs> um, yeah, the I last mean, in the grand scheme for me, in, in the grand scheme of things, like we're watching Ruby, and I've got to I've got to like accept a a lot. This episode. Not very frustrating. I got. I, I. I gotta say, like I, like you know, you got the whole scene at the beginning where they're like, ah, we're we're gonna go party, and then you got the scene where they're like, hey, we're at the party, and then you got the Tyrion scene, and it's just like, okay, yeah, they sure Tyrion that whole thing up. Like the only part that I would even call frustrating would be the 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 Ren and Nora moment and that's not because of this episode that's because of volume 5 which i mean nobody should even force themselves to ever think about again so that's just <laughs> my own damage keeping me from calling this episode go, not frustrating Matt, at all go. all right all right uh, <laughs> nuya uh, during the attack, did the villains have the foresight to realize that there might have been Faunus they could see in the dark uh, and witness Tyrion? Or perhaps they thought that everyone would be quick to blame Penny on anything regardless? I mean, I think there's a lot of arguments to be made about the, the chaos immediately caused by just opening up in a crowded place. Uh, yeah, um, that's <laughs> my idea. Like, Are, are, are Faunus even allowed out at, at I mean, night? That's the thing. Is like, they, there like, are you... no other Faunus there. If you just scan the crowd, I could not find a single Faunus aside from Cowgirl and Tyrion. And uh, yeah, uh, I, 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 th- I think maybe this is like the that Faunus discrimination that, that we've been waiting for, that they're just there's a curfew for Faunus and they're not even allowed out. 
Like unless special circumstances. Yeah, the only people, uh, yeah. the only faunas are allowed out are the ones with jobs, like the security and um, the campaign manager, the cowgirl, and the miners, um, that kind of thing. Um, you, yeah. Using a real world parallel, if there was like an anti cop rally and there was a shooting there, and the moment the lights came on, all you could see is a cop with a loaded gun. People would shoot that cop pretty quickly. The, um... Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Hi, I'm Aiden asks, uh, what did you guys think of Ruby being useless again? All she did was shout, watch out, and nothing else. <laughs> she got, she got bumped into, and she hit her head. That was it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was, I was like, Ruby, do something. And then, it, like, the do lights went out, and I'm like, useless? okay, I guess that's fair. She doesn't have night vision, but, like, she could have been faster. Like, we just, we just, this episode, they established that she can phase around solid objects <laughs> with her semblance. She could just be like, hi, Tyrion, punch him in the face. I mean, admittedly. Her or, or like, as soon as the lights go off, she could have, like, rushed up to, to get, to get Robin out of there. I mean, anybody honestly could have, but they didn't. Yeah, I, I, like, like I said, the, the whole, like, everyone's episode. brain switching off as soon as the, as soon as the lights go off. Is like, I mean, that might happen. That might be realistic. But at the same time, you know, you got like people like Marrow and Ruby and Penny that Penny's literally a robot. She she should not have been affected at all by the lights going off and should have been like, okay. She she saw Tyrion. Well that's and she's that, like, my idea is is that Watts hacked her neural system and was like, Yeah, you can't see Tyrion anymore. I went back and looked at the scene and looking at it. it Tyrion just vanishes and like she's looking around and should normally be able to see him in her field of view but she doesn't just doesn't I, register him I will counterpoint him. that because the the like like cuz I I thought the same I thought the same but I think Tyrion has done this the the the, the uh, uh Matt Damon uh Jason Bourne act hmm. before where he's vanished he Batman. <laughs> um but um g- compared to that the hacking thing if he can hack Penny's systems why not just make her go on a killing spree and cut out the middleman of risking well, your own agent in this entire chaos situation? I, it yeah. depends on access, right? Like, just because he can hack one part of her, perhaps the yeah. rest of it is? Yeah. You if know? you can change like, he her can perception hack... of events directly, then you could right, do a I whole can, slew I can of look. Things. I'm I'm able to hack a system and look through a security camera. It doesn't mean I get to move the security camera. That's a completely different system. Um, or something like that. If you get to hack through a know. system and change what the security camera can see, you can change whatever that person who's looking at the security feed is witnessing. Okay. So they... Point being, I, I believe in the logic that they presented that they cannot hack Penny like movement or free will. It's more so they hack her systems. It's like, yeah, you don't detect this kind of person. We'll see. We'll have to see what, what Tyrion's right. thing and, is. And... Yeah, it's yeah. gotta be super stealthy because she can also like run a virus scan and maybe she they just can't find out specifically. Oh no, my oh, plan man. foiled again by Norton and Tyson. <laughs> Mal. <laughs> <laughs> no. I knew I should have gone with Kaspersky. <laughs> Nick Casey, um, why if only I used me? Nord VPN. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I should have stayed emotional and uh, intellectual. I'll be over here. Uh what do you expect uh, sorry, this is uh Dan. Uh Ki- that Kaito Dan asking, uh, what do you expect this volume's Christmas Dan. cliffhanger to be? Uh, Wait, hold that. I missed one. Someone kills the uh, maiden. Akko the platypus, a- a- the platypus Great asked, um, thought, thoughts on Robin Hill as a character, uh, also to Phoenix, dab. Uh, don't dab. It's bad for your health. Uh, secondly, we've Damn already kind of covered Robin Hill. So... <laughs> <laughs> refer to that yeah we already cover robin hill uh she is a flawed chaotic good character uh and i like i mean that scene with marrow and robin probably my favorite scene in ruby for a while like i think back to like season four since i've had a scene that good uh yeah i was gonna say could be worse could be better she's she's all right so far um she serves her purpose. A, a little too... You know how I feel about Robin. <laughs> a little too morally upstanding in certain regards, but... I, you know. um, what do you expect this volume's cliffhanger to be? That was Dan. Um, how many How many that, weeks away something... are we from that? I think it's next week. Two. Next week? next week? I'm not sure, though. Damn. 
We're the uh, seventh. I mean, we still have to go. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if Dashi saw the the spoiler on Twitter. We still have to we still have to experience that spoiler that was on Twitter and I think uh, that's going to be the uh that's going to be the 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 cliffhanger. What, what? They're going to do that and then uh the thing is going to happen after that and they're going to be like what? I have not seen any spoilers. Yeah, but if there yet. was a moment for the not the good luck charm people but half of the half of the Aesop crew to rebel and reveal, ha, we're secretly villains. Uh, I think that that would be a time to do it. I think that's going, I think that's becoming less and less likely every moment. Yeah. And I think I hold it has to hope. do something with the Winter Maiden. Like, maybe, uh, you know, something happens. I still I'm, want, I'm still hoping it's a Nora thing. So. Yeah. I still want the Luck guy and Crow to have an awesome fight scene. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 that's in bed. what I'm hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's not a fortune cookie, Fat Man. <laughs> I, I, you can do that with a, with a lot of stuff. I don't know. I, I don't know where 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 the season is going right now. Like I said, the the quality of this episode for me depends very heavily upon how the what reveal the future plans of the villains are, and what exactly the idea behind this attack was. Like, what is their goal? We don't know yet. Depends heavily upon that. Once I know their goal, I can probably predict things, but I guess that'll come later. We'll see. Um, it could just simply be a goal of tragedy. You know, people are chaotic. That brings grim, murders people. That's very short term, sure, but let's see. You know, Skull Knight. Well, oh. it's a distraction for like whatever their plan. It's it's a distraction, right? Maybe. I think you I don't, don't think that. it's too. I don't think it's too far to, to stretch that. They're they're that they're running distractions. Yeah, I think that's the case. All right. Um, from Skull Knight one hundred six, what are your thoughts on Weiss telling Winter that Ironwood might be keeping secrets and proceeds to keep the Jin secret to herself? That was last week. Um, I mean, personally, I thought that she was going to um, that she was going to tell, like she was gonna spill the beans, and then Winter was just like, "Hey, let me show you this thing that you literally already know about," and that interrupted Gave the whole, well, the whole it, shebang. It, it, it wasn't just. I that. liked it. Yeah, I liked that, um, and it does make Weiss a more complex character because she chose not to. At least it could make her a more complex character if that wasn't just the the writers forgetting that she had the potential. To well, tell it. it shows that she has faith in Ruby. Because that was Ruby's plan. Is yeah. not you know she, Ruby was the first one to say yeah we're not gonna tell Ironwood right now until we completely know the situation. Well, I mean even right e- even so they got distracted. Sure. Like so, Weiss could still very well intend spill the beans to, yeah. to spill the yeah, beans. I, I think they're they're doing something like that, like going towards somebody saying something because Ren the way it was bothering him as well. So do, yeah. do you okay? Here's an idea. What if they're going for the everyone is against everyone strategy here? So the idea is that everyone is suddenly against Atlas. Uh, you know, you have the population of Mantle against Atlas, and then suddenly it's revealed what 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 Jin said, and so Atlas is suddenly against all of uh, 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 Team Ruby and and J- Juniper, and. So basically, but then everyone is, and Mantle is also against Team Ruby and Juniper because they were working with Atlas. And so suddenly it's a three-way battle and then you have the villains just smack dab in the middle of it killing everybody. I don't think, I mean... I mean, that's how I would take it. That's a crazy awesome idea. Yeah. I, I still feel like that scene in the intro where Oscar and Ironwood are fighting. I still think that that's gonna be a thing. It's like I have done everything for you. Why don't you trust me with this information? Why don't you look at and me? And Oscar's during... like, and Oscar's like, dude, I'm just a kid right now. The, the old man <laughs> who possesses me, he's not here. I, I could try and say Shazam and bring him here, but he, he ain't been listening. He ain't been picking up the phone. Uh, uh, life, life as Oscar is suffering. Skull I'm so Boy sorry also for him. asks, do you think that Weiss, Oscar, and John are going to do something like a Tyrion fight? I'm not entirely sure what you're asking. Like, like a Tyrion fight? Like, are they going to fight Tyrion, or are they going to have to fight? An event is going to happen at the theater. Possibly. Yeah. See, see, least... uh, 
John 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 Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln in the theater and then hid out in a warehouse and Lee Harvey Oswald wait is that his name shot JFK from a warehouse and hid in the theater. Yep. The point it's all the point being more so is that I don't think something's going to happen. It, okay, if something happens in the theater, that's way too specific. I hate it. But if mm. like they hear the explosions and screams happening outside and Grimmer attacking, <laughs> that's going to be like we're going to have multiple cuts next episode we have the dancer people we have the movie people and we have the what if they don't people. hear it what if they're like they're, they've been sequestered <laughs> like what if the mute like the movie sounds are too Gosh, realistic? popcorn's great yeah yeah it's like oh wow this is dolby 5.1 nice <laughs> i mean you have heard the new song it's pretty kicking mm. um, <laughs> yeah I, I i think that would be a good like joke to put in the next episode have like <laughs> have, like, shit going down in the streets, and then just, like, cut to Weiss, Oscar, and, and Jean, and they're, like, eating popcorn, and they're like, wow, the audio is, like, real good. And somebody goes, shh, and they cut back to the fight. <laughs> That's great. Um, and this 3D, like, a, a, a Grim bursts through the wall, someone kills the Grim, and it's like, man, the 3D is fucking incredible. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I see, uh, some Mong, uh, that's a weird name, but okay, uh, don't judge, uh, asks... Has your opinion on Watt's plan changed at all? I don't know! <laughs> uh, I know you were all saying uh, Jacques's plan last time. All according to Kikaku. But I'm hoping it's beyond obvious now that Watts was Kikaku's the one who was doing plan. this purely to maximize unrest, and Jacques winning uh, was just his reward for playing along. Possibly! I, Possibly! It's likely, It's, but it's hard to determine if... It's hard to determine if something's changed when we don't know what it came from, so yeah. we don't know yet. We Basically... Know. Yeah, I mean, my... Yeah, no. My game theory was that Watts and Tyrion needed Jacques dust, or maybe they needed to use the location of Jacques closed dust shops. And that's why he had to close down shop. And then he, in return, he was going to hack the thing. Perhaps. I, I mean, it, we don't know what they're planning. We, we think, or I think anyway, that it's unrest is their goal so that they can get distracted and, Remind they me. have clear uh, line of sight to the maiden and the and the vault. Remind me, wasn't one of the last things Salem did was she summoned the flying monkeys, you know, that yeah. you expect from the Wicked Witch of the West. So here's my idea. What if, like, they're using Jacques' mind that he's just closed down and all of the flying monkeys are there and then now that chaos is spreading, they're just going to summon an army of flying monkeys to take because, like, Atlas is pretty well defended it's in the air to start with, so they can't get Grim up there unless they got those flying monkeys and uh, they're just going to, like, take out, take them all out that way Yeah, that they're, they're coming she was making a, 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 a ton a poop ton a poop, mm -hmm. a Salem poop ton. The um, <laughs> and they sell them Salem cheap Let's see. Next, next is uh, Darimations asking Thoughts on Renora after this episode? We have covered that in depth, and we I do mm -hmm. not want to get back we'll off see. on that. I love it. Nope, you'll Mwah. see. Uh, Fall Rose Reaper, uh, whose tag is All Killer 77 uh, do you think the execution, pun intended, of Watts' plan was handled well, or do you think that it could have been done better? I honestly didn't see the whole deep faking twist coming at all, and the opening was alluded to it. Um... Again, we, you know, we, we just covered this. Probably should have we read the questions beforehand. Um, let's probably should have read the questions beforehand. No, but then we then we'd spoil ourselves. That's true, maybe, or at least when we finish the episode. Um, yeah, and besides, we can always just say, "Oh, we talked about that yeah, already." Yeah, yeah, we should stick. Which which we yeah. did. How yeah, do you sure. think a confrontation between Tyrion will go down? I'm hoping you get stabbed. Who was that? Who was that? Uh, sorry, that was a uh, Firestarter 09. Technically, Firestarter 092. I think that Penny. <laughs> as far as we've seen so far, Crow is pretty much on the same level as Tyrion, as far as like combat ability, and so I'd I'd, I'd, I'd assume that Penny and Ruby could take Tyrion, because Penny is OP as balls. If Penny's in the right mind frame, she's probably disheartened. Exactly. Right that was my literally. Next thing. That was my next thing. Like, what do you, th what do you guys think is happening with her right now, with? The way she barely turned and just flew away. Uh, Everybody's like, oh, she's an evil robot. And she's like, I'll show you an evil robot. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> and she flies away. Okay. How she, about somebody she's she's going to be she's gonna be crying in the corner. And then they're going to have that scene where it's just like, Penny, the real 
uh, being a robot was inside you all along. And then she switches off her emotion and then goes and like kills all the Grimm in one hit like she did in episode one. Jesus um, the real enemy is men. <laughs> this is from uh, Rick's Arts uh, or Red Sheba 99. A lot of questions. Um, what do you think Oscar's semblance might be? Plot convenience. Ooh, that is Tire a repair. good Tire question. repair. <laughs> so well, all the way back to volume six. This one that, that they haven't really going announced yet six. because because <sighs> like Oz, Oz, Ozpin's semblance, from what I understood, is that he like had super speed movement, like it had to do with clocks or something. Possibly, yeah. Well, but, th- I mean, but, that wouldn't be Ozpin. That would be yeah. That raises that would the be question: the dude. Does the, I, does Ozpin inherit the semblance of the dude? Is it like some kind of all uh, one for all thing, where they it builds quirk power genes. or something like that? Oh yeah, is he quirk genes? Is is he thousands of generations of of uh, one for all, or is he uh, like, or does he just have to deal with whichever semblance he chances into? Yeah, I imagine I imagine a timeline where he gets the semblance of nice feet in the morning, and he just kills himself to reset. <laughs> Until he gets a better one. Uh, um, what what yeah. will his semblance? He's just be? like, uh, hey, buddy. Uh, you know, now that we're like linked minds, you you can fly. And he jumps off a roof, and he's like, sucker. <laughs> and he goes into a new body. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, gosh, what would Oscar's thing be? I don't uh, think we can predict it at this point. We have no indication. Yeah, the, I. If there have been clues, I have been far too oblivious to notice them. Uh, yeah. Jetty017 asks, well, he just he just says, have fun with a smiley face. So uh, thank you. Thank you. I did. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, frustrated, yeah. but thank I did you. have fun. So you know, I can't I can't super complain. Uh, fun which, you know, describes my Ruby, my Ruby experience as a whole. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although we do nothing but complain yeah. at some point, so. Uh, speak for yourself. We, we very well yeah, can. So, so speak we've for yourself, that. which reminds me, you know, when you guys out there say, say you guys, remember that yeah, it's not, it's, it's not yeah. an all you guys. Yeah, we you, all have different opinions. Yeah. You guys is me and Raymond. And well, no, not necessarily, and because like, like in, and, the, in the last few episodes, no, yeah, me and you have disagreed on, thing. on things. It's like, like we all have yeah, different it opinions on these things. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, so, so we have, uh, yeah. So basically, we we all enjoy the show in our own little way. We're just some of us get more frustrated than others, and it's all right to be that way, guys. It's it's okay. We're we're not taking anything away from you. We're just pointing out what we think are flaws. It's it's okay. It's all right. It's how we grow. And it's interesting to hear different opinions. You know, even if. They're wrong, like Fat Man and Raymond. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're if you're wrong, like Fat Man and Raymond, the only way to fix them is to yell at them in the comments and just back up that how right me and Dashy are, or join yeah. us on Patreon and yell at us in person. Yeah. But honestly, yeah. though, guys, if you could put in the comments like what your opinions are about those, are I guess this is a mini civil war, I guess, with this not not war, but Gosh, civil. I c- a civil smackdown. <laughs> I can't even remember what the last civil war was. Well, about. the major civil it war was the was it was the flashback episode. It was, uh, yeah, the flashback, yeah, flashback I, episode. I should not have compared it to that. I'm just saying. Yes. We're just, um, we're just do a link here. But yeah, let us know what you thought about this. Thing, I don't know. I, I think this is more worth getting all up in arms about than the uh, than the flashback episode. Well, this is Civil War Two compared to Civil War One, so it's like you know. <laughs> Yeah, Civil War Two. The book was a very inferior product to Civil War One. This is more like a civil spank. Civil like, spank. It's not that big. Yeah. Uh, Davin, uh, aka at Tilted Crow, what are your thoughts on how Bumblebee is being handled this season? I, for one, am enjoying their background shenanigans so far. I I applaud them for keeping it just like very, very nice in the background, very mm. very relaxed. They're not. <laughs> Uh, admittedly, they're kind of shoving it in everywhere they can, but I'm okay. It's not like it's becoming a super big plot point right now. They're not, like, turning it into a big drama point. It's just two girls goofing off and having fun together, and I am okay with that right now. I agree. Uh, they're, I way, to... they're way more pushy about Ren and Nora yeah, this yeah, volume. Ren, Ren and Nora is uh, the bigger yeah. kicker right now. Uh, yeah. And I have two answers for that. I have the Raymond Dashy answer, which is, oh my god, I wanted to see the dance. That was adorable. I know, 
sorry. Oh, and then, oh, and then, and then she put her arm around it where she was looking in the mirror and they were like touching hair. Oh my God. Okay. Now the real, the real answer. <laughs> uh, good. Just leave it in the background. That's awesome. Little tiny hints. I mean, just make when it you natural. say in the background, a lot of people to, get, sorry going, to continue. <laughs> if you're going to smack it right in the foreground, like we did with Ren and Nora, just a little bit more subtle. You know what? Go ahead. I can't. I need to know what you're going to say. Okay. Well, I was just going to mention that you know, I, I'd say keep it in the background is almost a disservice to how they're doing it right now. It's less. It's less in the background, and it just is. It's like they're just in a relationship well, doing things that are in a relationship. That's, a big, that's actually what I mean. Like, I, like not, I feel like I'm not when, saying when they're say pushing it in, in the, the background, background. I'm saying it's there, and if you see it, cool. You know, but we're we're working on trying to save the world. I, right I think that that yeah, saying so... the background, like like the background, gets dissed a lot. The background is fucking yeah. important. Like 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 when I say put it in the background, it means I'm asking you to flesh out the world. It means I'm asking you to fill in the blanks or at least provide spaces for us to fill in the blanks as needed. It, it's not asking you to ignore an element. It's asking you to be subtle with an element, to be gentle with it. You don't need to focus on it yeah. for it to be present and relevant. Like you just, you I mean, have it. It's there. It's calm yeah, and present. That's exactly what I was going to say yeah, before I you like cut that me off. Better. So, so when someone says put right. it in the background, don't take it as I don't want this. Take it as yeah. I like this. It's fine, but you're pushing it too forward. Put it in the background a little bit more, and it will make people enjoy it more. It will by by put, having a like little bit less of it, that, having a little less focus on it, you allow people to experience it in a better way. It's it, there's a very fine tuned aspect to the background that I think gets really overlooked by a lot of people who think that it's somehow like a backhanded compliment. It's it's not. Um, yeah, that that's what I was gonna say. Uh, yeah, actually, were you bad. gonna go on this, or or was I gonna go? Oh, gonna... I did. I uh, no, I I basically, that's you know, I'll change yeah. my mind to that oh. to to blending it in instead of just throwing it in the back burner. I don't mean the back burner. I mean like. It's cool. It's there. Cool. The, yeah, okay. the the back burner and the background are very are very different things. Mm -hmm. um, right. But Applejack, like, best background horse. <laughs> background horse. Yes, <laughs> best background pony. Um, I think honestly that sometimes the background can be s significantly overrated. Not to just not to just be you know a contrarian to to, to Raymond's point. I I do agree with that. But if you think about like, if you think about it in terms of writing a screenplay as opposed to, like, directing for the screen, or not, not maybe not even writing a screenplay, like, writing a, a novel. If you want to put something in, in the background of a movie or a visual medium, you can just put it there. You can put a picture on a wall, and it'll be like, hey, look at this. But if you want to do that in a novel, you have to specifically call out that the picture is there and it brings way more attention to it yeah like it's a problem between like you know i mean different mediums but yeah. in the grand um, like medium of like storytelling itself like if you think of like every media every like you know individual medium is like a subset of storytelling as a medium like the background can be used more like boom in your face than anything else because in this episode it was like they show the Jacques and uh, uh robin poll numbers the whole time and it's like hey 70 30 hey uh, uh 69 to 31 nice. hey and then it was going and then it was like going tipping that way and that was like really obvious to me like, when they showed it, it was like, oh, and then it's like, oh, now it's only, like, 54 to 46. And, it's, and you know, and, and they, that was, like, a, that was a background detail, but that was, like, really present. I, I mean, the only reason why I think that gets a pass, at least on my books, is because that mimicked what happened in reality pretty dang well. What? It's like the you had the, the Democrats celebrating early because there's no way she could lose to Donald Trump. My, my frustration and is that the, the other polls candidates weren't slowly. even on the board, and I think that would have been an extra layer to, to nice to add to it to kind of disperse the whole hacking narrative. Maybe. 
Because, like, one, one of my favorite videos of all time is watching the media, like, compilation yes. of the, the election night. How they start off super happy with their wine and champagne, and they end <laughs> the night looking like they just want to die. It's the funniest thing ever. Yeah. And that kind of... I don't know, that's the kind of vibe I was getting from this, so... Yeah. And, and similar stuff happened in, like, the midterms, uh, you know, in um, 2018... Where it was like a bunch of news networks were like, oh, hey, look at all these districts that went to the Republicans. We're calling them. And then it was just like in the morning, it's like we have a lot of corrections to make. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you know, like um, people and and, you know, like, you know, the 24 hour news cycle and this this need to be the first to report on it, which shouldn't exist in mistral or in not in mistral in remnant it it's well, it's oh my god Th th point. exactly what i expected to happen happened well, they announced the poll point. and then everybody freaked okay. out they right. okay. they should have gotten that they should have go. it's how it's, did we get here it, from the talking world's to been <laughs> yeah yeah that's what i'm trying to well we talked about the right, background right. well i think we should we should yeah. we should steer back as we're we're running up on an uh, uh an hour two hours here and uh Oh, yeah. we are. Ooh. Bumblebee. Eh, who cares? <laughs> All right, last question. <laughs> but growing and thus, growing Lord VA. A million people. Do you want to add back. something? Was there something that... After your question. Okay, so I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to get these out. It's okay. Um, do you think Ren is growing a spider sense? Do you think his semblance is related to uh, a related or aura sensing? Do you think it's semblance related to yes. aura sensing? I, th I think it's. Um, well, I think that is I a think it is a semblance. Like he can he can block it out. It only makes sense that he would be hypersensitive to it. Like <laughs> if it's something else, then they are doing a not good job at showing us what that is. Because the um, the gut reaction for for you guys and myself has just been, oh, he's able to sense over people's aura now. Mm -hmm. well, where I got to me, it was a little bit. They did a good job because they put it smack dab in the middle of them saying, "You're evolving." And then, did you always know you can do that? And then Ren. Like, it was right around those times. Yeah. Oh, hey! Mm -hmm. Discord's if anything, back. I'd argue this is not convenient. Hey! Yes, that's nice. Anyway, any Which more questions? No, that was, that was the last question. No more questions, but but there is there is a question, I'm sorry? There is? Uh, no questions. We're good. Okay. All right. Uh, we would like to thank Sophistic Autistic for this phenomenal, phenomenal uh, fan art. Work of us. Oh yeah! I'll put it up on screen it's, right it's, now. It's in the ash pit right now. Mm -hmm. I've never wanted so a video beautiful. game of myself before. So beautiful! Thank you so much. This this made my day, and oh my god, that lobster! <laughs> Mecha lobster! <laughs> I love it so much. I love the Thank Mega you. Man pose Thank he gave so me. Much. That's pretty rad. Uh, so. uh, well, that said, uh, I think we should start wrapping it up here because we are, you know, running mm -hmm. an hour forty five minutes here. I'm not looking forward to editing this. <laughs> Uh, thank you all so much for watching and sticking with us this entire time, if you have stayed. Uh, remember that for $1 or more, you can get access to the Team Frostbite Discord server, where me, Fatman, and Dashi are regularly active, and Brit is there occasionally, sometimes. Um, remember that you can also ask questions if you join the Discord server. Uh, this this week was an unusual one. Discord's functionality pending, yeah, Discord's though. Discord's functionality pending. <laughs> yeah. uh, this week was a little weird, considering it crashed out on us. Uh, but if you want to ask questions like that, like the ones that we answered today, we'd be more than happy to answer them in the Discord. Um, remember to follow all of us on Twitter, just in case Discord crashes and you get more uh, uh, questions <laughs> you can ask through there. Uh Remember to subscribe and uh, ring that bell to this channel as well as like this video. Comment your thoughts on this video down below. And uh, make sure your notifications are allowed on uh, uh, YouTube. A loving shout out to every single one of my patrons who should be up on screen sometime right around now. And uh, once more, thank you all so much for watching. We'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye. Bye-bye.